Hello, I'm Alexis McKenzie with JCPenney Realty, and I have our Currency Direct exchange expert, Brian Bernal, here with us today. And what I want to do is ask him a question to help get your questions answered. And that is, if I am a foreign national looking to purchase a home here in the U.S., is it more advantageous for me to pay cash, or would it be better for me to get a mortgage? So go ahead and give me an answer. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good question. Uh, and it's going to depend on a few factors. I mean, there really isn't a blanket statement that would that would fully cover cover both sides of of, of that question. Um, some customers will take on a mortgage even though they have the adequate amount of cash to purchase a property uh, outright. Um, and reason being is they simply don't want to part with all of those pounds. In this case, if you're a UK a customer, mm -hmm. um, they would rather borrow dollars uh, and send the uh, the amount that they need to 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 get the mortgage and keep the remainder in pounds. Um, okay. Some clients often do that because they're not overly excited about where the exchange rate is, or they feel that the they really like the property, they really want to get involved, but they feel the pound may appreciate um, in the near term or, or or medium term, and would and would like to purchase the property at that time. However, the property that they want is is ready now, so it's kind of that. Yeah that push and pull. Um, you can secure the property and not have to uh, uh, utilize all of those pounds up front. You could do so at a later time to perhaps pay off the mortgage. So I'm going to ask you a question I know you don't like answering. What's that? What do you think the exchange rate is going to do in the near future? Uh, well, in, in the near future, I'll say from now until year end, I mean, we've seen a range just in the last six weeks of, of the pound at 142 to as low as 135. Mm -hmm. I see us staying within that range um, uh, through year end, um, capturing some of the higher 130s or 140s. If someone is looking to to uh, purchase something here in the next, you know, like, let's say this last quarter of the year, um, I would be looking to maybe capture the higher end of that range. But I see it staying pretty stagnant through. Uh, okay, the so the the, the very, uh, basic idea would be is I could put 25% down of my own money and exchange it now at the current exchange rate get a mortgage, use that mortgage to pay for the rest of the home. Then if I feel that over the next one to two years, the exchange rate is going to go in my favor, I could then use the rest of my money to pay off that mortgage then and get more for my money. Absolutely. You, you would receive more dollars with less pounds Interesting. later on down the road. So I've seen that strategy employed quite a bit uh, and, it, uh, and it works well. And if that's something that you're thinking of, definitely give us a call. We can put together a spreadsheet. We can show you the exchange rates now, potential exchange rates in the future. Uh, and we can show you if you were to get a mortgage, how the home you have now could help pay for that mortgage until you're ready to exchange the rest of the money. So let us know. We can help work all that out for you and put it together in a nice little spreadsheet. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.